Welcome to the new backdrop. What's up, everybody? It's the Midnight Angel, also known as the Akimbo Assassin, giving you the breakdown on the T8 versus the Tib X. Tiberius versus Titman. Now, the main thing with everybody complaining about is the difference between weight. This one is a little heavier than the Titman Tib X. The reason why is because of the magazines, not so much the pistols themselves. The magazine is about an equivalent to around two or three of these. These basically weigh nothing. These are made out of aluminum and actually holds the CO2 cartridge. So the air source and the paint is held in the magazine. Here just the paint is held. Now, with the Tip and Tip X, the reason I never used these in the beginning was because the Tiberius pistol came out first. And these are basically the Ferrari of uh, paintball pistols when they came out. They're used for um, less than lethal forces and, and whatnot. Like they actually had them for the, um, the police departments and everything for training purposes. So that's why you don't see them so big in the paintball world as you do Tipman. Tipman is like the king of paintball. So once they put these out, everybody jumped on them because Tiberius didn't really have the promoting um, needs as as much as they as, as they wanted. But, when it comes down to it, when I rock them, no upgraded barrel, no upgraded bolt. It's straight stock out the box. So, I don't want anybody thinking that they have to do this or that because I know it all gets expensive. And I just want to give hope to those that actually have what they have and just make the best out of it because it's not the weight that's going to get you to win. It's not the upgraded barrel or the upgraded first strike kit or the bolt, it's actually the way you rock it and how it's going to go when you actually play out there, what your mentality is and all. So I just want to get that out there. The difference and the reason I use these over these at times is because I prefer CO2 cartridges rocked in the Tiberius T8. I only prefer uh, air. Uh, the, the remote lines when it comes down to, to, to Texas. Now, everybody that I know that has actually owned a Tipex and played for it for more than six months, they tell me that they bust all rings and there's leaks sometimes. And I've never had that problem. Maybe because the only thing I've ever done with the Tipex is use it uh, on a remote line. Now, with it being used on a remote line, I have never broke a seal or actually broke it down to clean it or oil it. So what was it? A year and a half ago when I was given these. Um that's as long as it's been since I've ever I I never cleaned it. Uh, the only reason I've opened it was to actually install the air adapter. So let it be truth be told, I don't keep any maintenance on this at all. Neither of them actually and neither of them have uh busted any seals or did any, had, had any leaks. So that might help you out there if you're having that problem, if you want to switch over. With these, you have to go ahead and keep maintenance on your bolt because in the older bolts, they actually have um, slots so that if you break rounds enough, you will get paint towards the firing uh, pin. And then when the bolt is actually getting shot off, there will be paint in there and then you're going to have to bust it down and, and take care of it. Now when you clean the barrel, it's you're going to save a few seconds compared to the tip axe because you push and twist, send a squeegee through and then send it right back in. Now with the tip X and screw, squeegee it and do that. Remember that's times two if, if you got both guns shot and uh, break a paint. I actually came up with that idea at Living Legends 4. Ninja helped me bring it to life and then CPX funded it. We all worked together. We had him going. Didn't really promote it too much because he wanted to see how it got, how it was working. Never had a problem with it. And now I see that it's recently been a little bit more promoted than it was before. Now I have a upgraded version of that. 
I have the Dual UFA with micro bore lines, which are lighter, more flexible, and easier to maneuver. On the top of them, I have Pro Connect 3s, which are basically slide checklists. I was sick of getting bit by the slide checks, on top of the fact of forgetting to slide check them on and shooting nothing. So, thank you, Doug Brown, for PSYOP's presence. The thing is, with the FPS um, settings, when you have it in um, on the remote, you can only set it and cap it at, at max, like 263, nothing more. You might get a, an occasional spike out of a few dozen shots to make it go like 270 something, but you can't get anything past 263. But the TA.1, this is a TA, but with the TA.1, when you have the actual air adapter in the back, you can crank it to as high as you want. I think the top is the top side of like 350 or whatnot. But I like to sweet my, sweet spot my Tiberius is at 275. It gives a nice solid kick, straight trajectory, and it is on its path to hit whoever I'm pointing at. Now, this is the thing: the Tiberius pistols have two detents, so there's one on each side of the barrel before the round is ejected. The tip and the tip X, there's only one. And it's curved. So if you look at your breech, there's going to be a rubber detent, and the round is going to be right here. And when it's shot, there's only one that's actually um, holding it in place. So not a lot of people notice it, but when you actually shoot your tip X with the one detent, it will curve after so so much, or with maybe a, a, a round that has a smaller bore size than, than usual. So with Tiberius, you will shoot straight, and if anything, your round will drop. With the Tip X, your round will shoot straight, and at a certain distance, it will start to curve. So you have to learn the trajectory. And learning the trajectory is what's going to get you the win on any gun, whether it's you rocking a rental, some, some cockeyed icon, or a spider, uh, ego, or geo, or whatnot. You just pay attention to that, because when you learn your trajectory, then you're going to be able to um, recognize your your muscle memory and snap in, use less rounds or, or whatever the case w will be. <clears throat> but when it comes down to other um, preferences, it's usually the trigger frame. Now my hands, they're big, especially the knuckles. So when it comes down to me using them, I can actually grip both at will with, without a problem. I think. I like the trigger frame of the Tiberius because of the way it, it arcs. This, you actually have to arc it forward a little bit to get it straight when it comes down to lining up the sights. Now, when it comes down to magazines, I use six for the Tip X and four for the Tiberius pistols. But the thing is, I have two on each side for each pistol, and then the, the, the magazines that are already in the pistols. So it's a total of six. With the Tiberius, I have two standard mags, and then I carry two extended mags. So it's equivalent to around the same. With the Tiberius, the magazine holds eight. But if you drop one in the breech, you're going to get a plus one. So then you're going to have nine. With the Tip X, you're only going to have seven. Drop one in the breech, then you're going to get eight. So, with those being a little difference or whatnot, you know, you, you can go ahead and decide. Sometimes people worry about the price, and if you want to go ahead and buy it brand new, you can buy it brand new or go check out eBay or Craigslist. There's always people giving out deals because some people don't have the patience to learn the pistols and how to operate them the right way, so they'll just give it out. And then that's a steal when it comes down to those that, that are trying to learn. But you're not going to go ahead and, and open the box and just automatically get a kill-death ratio of like 50 to 2. So <clears throat> you're going to have to learn the trajectory. You're going to have to operate with them, use the mobility, watch how you uh, snap on and whatnot. The easiest way to see how you can learn from your, from your mistakes is when you go home and you look at your clothes and you see where your shots have been on your, your gear, whether it's on your mask, and the neck, shoulder, the gun, 
that's a good way to learn from your mistakes. So just, just pay attention to the little things. Now the TA.1s have air adapters now in the same section. Um, and also the maintenance is a lot easier. It just comes out the back instead of having to break down the entire gun. The FS mags and then you take off the additional components when it's adapted to the, to the air adapter so that the, light, the, the magazine is a little bit lighter because the TA.1s mags are lighter than the T8ones and they even become even lighter when you break down the extra components that you don't need. These pistols are both superior and I'm not saying that just because I rocked one and then I rocked another or whatever the case but when it comes down to pistols this is where it's at and it doesn't get any better than these. Um, obviously when it comes to the TA.1 it's already first strike ready and compatible. When it comes to the tip X, you have to upgrade it in order to get the first strike rounds out of it. But that's all your personal choice. There's body kits. Um, Tiberius has extended magazines. It's actually what I was known for. They look a little something like this. When it comes down to the extendos getting in the way, they never get in the way for me because they align with my forearms every time I use them or tucked in on the left or the right side or crossed over. They're always aligned, so never really got in my way. Never got in my way, actually. So, one, good luck finding them. I mean, I revived them once when uh, enough people were asking for them. Depending on which route I go with this year, whether it's the Tiberius or the, or the Tipman, Tip X's, uh, I can go ahead and see about reviving them again. As for these, Extended magazines, I can't really say anything about it, but all I'm going to say is expect it. Maybe at one of the events I show up at. I'm not saying anything, but <clears throat> accuracy, distance. practically match. Besides the fact that I said one sheet straight and only has a little curve at the end. But you know it's all about learning your trajectory. Um, you have to adapt to it. Either one you go with, just adapt to it. So first figure out what the real problem is. If it's with the weight, if it's with the amount of magazines you want to carry, if it's with the trigger frame size, if it's with first strike, not first strike, um, maintenance remote line CO2 cartridges. It's all about which, what you choose personally. Sometimes you'll find a good deal on the Tip X or the Tiberius pistol rather than the other. So either way you can't go wrong. I'm going to say that and I'll, I'll stand by it. Someone asked me that question again because I, I got that question asked like a hundred times which one's better. There is no which one's better. It's which one you like better. The Tip X is louder than the Tiberius pistol. When you shoot this, it's more like a kind of drop sound, you know what I mean? But with the Tip X, it's more like a waka. So, louder, 